On board we have an NSO system uh, that we're running through the 24 inch uh, touch screen on the dash. We also have the NSS Evo 2 products. So we have a 12 inch uh, up here above the skipper, uh, one right up in the, the Marlin Tower, and then we also have a 12 inch uh, in front of the skipper as well. Those systems are running uh, independent of each other. Uh, the NSO and then the NSS system. So the NSO through a black box which is underneath the, the dash. Uh, so linked into that we have a VSM3 uh, for our sounder uh, source. Then we also have a Halo 6 foot radar which is above us. So it comes in three sizes, uh, a 3 foot, 4 foot and a 6 foot. So what we'll do is we'll go over here and uh, do our dual radar screen. So what we've got, um, so you can see on the left, we're looking at three quarters of a mile, uh, and then we've also got one, um, an eighth of a mile on the one on the right. So we've got a boat, you can see that's just off our, our quarter here, um, and so they would only be 10 metres from us at the max, and we can see that return from that boat. Uh, and we can actually see the target of that boat is actually right next to right next to us on the three quarters of a mile as well. So um, we can see it on the close in as well as the you know the far out. Oh, once you get further out, yeah. Um, but what else? See, see, look at this. You've got 24 nautical miles here, and you've got 100 nautical miles. Yeah. That off exactly the same pulse, right? This one here, you're only basically looking at one pulse. Or, or one actual, you know, one burst of energy. Here, you're actually probably looking at three or four different uh, little bits all stitched together. But look at that, you know, it's got perfect target definition. Yeah. An expert radar user comes up here and he's blowing away because he's seeing short, short range, mid range and long range, and it's all in perfect yeah, target. And, all talking, and you see you're not touching anything. We are actually in bird mode. Yeah, yeah, you're looking for So, yeah. if I go into harbour mode now, did you see that clean up? Yeah. So, so look at that sweep there, right? Yeah. That's harbour mode. Clean, precise targets. Yeah. If I go to bird mode, you see how it gets blobby? Yeah. Because I'm putting way more power and I'm trying to find birds and really hard to find stuff. So we're in harbour now and she'll be whizzing around it. Can you hear that? Oh. Yeah, it'll be going around at 40 RPM now. If yeah. I go to bird, it slows all the way down to sometimes as slow as 12. So what it does, if it sees a target, it'll actually slow down even more to get more power on that target and when there's no targets, it'll actually speed up. So actually the sweeps aren't even uniform. Just because we're sending out seven, eight different beams in each pulse, the longer pulses go through the rain cloud and the uh, shorter pulses hit the rain cloud so you get the ability to see a, a rain cloud and a target out the other side. In the old days you'd be sit here trying to adjust the gain, right, and you're shagging around with it and you're only adjusting one variable, right? You want more gain or less gain, nope. right, you know? And it makes a hell of a mess. But we don't do that anymore, we just put it back on here, we get out of here. We go under here and we just go straight back in and we choose our modes. So it's auto B. Like I said, yeah. I, I, I challenge anybody to get the radar working better than those modes. You see what it does here is it shows you the three closest targets to collision. Yeah, so it prioritizes the, the target. whole time. Yeah. So if you've got some MARPA targets selected, and the MARPA targets come in before these ones, it'll put the MARPA ones ahead. So if I can actually select one of those, it'll tell me what it is. There you go. So you, you've got Maxi Lady here, and she's stationary. Look at when we come into this harbour, right? Yeah, this harbour looks good. Look at that. Right, you can actually see the individual boats and their moorings. 